we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. Much love. To those who purchased the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because as we can see right now, we have the first quarter main event. And we know they're going to ride this towards the end of the year. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now we have Bitcoin and cryptos pulling back. Had already told you that it was going to be pulling back. I gave you the date before it came. So guys, we know options are right around the corner. This article states that CME futures gap it is around 44.5. But guys, we know we were going to be pulling back. But we know on the weekend, we're the only game in town. We do know what indicators to look at. And then plus, guys, we know they need Bitcoin on the 5th as collateral. So do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are so important. And they have pushed down real rates. And we saw the 2 and the 10 about to be inverted. And guys, we know it's normally 12 to 18 months before we go into a recession. But we're already in one. The bond market is already telling us this. And then on top of it, we never had $9 trillion on a balance sheet, people. And then plus the Fed is going to be raising rates. We are living in some unbelievable times. And then also, guys, we have Volume Tether USDC. Now we have BNY Mellon to custody assets back in circles USDC. And guys, we know how important stable coins are to the crypto economy. It is definitely the foundation. And then, of course, we have the Fed. We have the repo at $1.7 trillion. And if you look at this chart, it is insane. Anybody who understands finances know, like I stated, we are in some crazy times. Now, we have the ECB promoting retail accepting the digital euro. And we know all these central banks are going to have a digital fiat. And it will be connected to that digital yuan backed by that digital SDR. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And guys, do not forget about Grayscale. They did pull back about $600 million. Make sure you're pulling up Grayscale allocations today and tomorrow. So therefore, we can see the weekend. And then also the repo. Now, getting over to a little crypto news. Now, we have Zillica getting an amazing pump, of course, going into the metaverse. And then also, guys, we have Binance becomes the official crypto exchange partner of the 64th Grammys. 
And we know this is all about adoption. Plus, they're going to feature exclusive NFTs issued by Tezos. And I think the Grammys is normally scheduled for January, and I think it was rescheduled for April 3rd. And that's right around the time crypto pumps. Now we have the Bitcoin Lightning Party, and then also Bitcoin Lightning is reportedly on crack, and I haven't checked it out, but please confirm that. Now we have Ted Cruz playing the Hegelian Dialectic, along with Emmer's bill to exclude the Fed. They don't want the CBDC. And the New World Order is always going to send their puppets out for opposition. But we all should be contacting the politicians and letting them know, no, we don't want a CBDC. A CBDC is nothing but surveillance, right along with blockchain. Blockchain and CBDCs gives the New World Order the all-seeing eye. Now we have Andreessen, and my guy, invest in Cross River Bank. Cross River Bank raises $620 million and basically gives an on and off ramp for crypto companies. Plus we have Layer Zero Labs raises $135 million. And lastly guys, we have Shiba's Metaverse. Will feature more than 100,000 plots of land priced in Ethereum. And we know they're gonna store it at Ethereum to back up Shiba Inu. But those virtual plots of land are gonna sell like crazy and you're never gonna step on it. The New World Order is creating a virtual world that doesn't even exist that you're going to be paying for. Yes, it is unbelievable. But remember, TV is your reality and your life is an illusion. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids books. It's time to reeducate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your Chips House, your Banking, your Gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, your Dome Stocks, the Sea the Biotech Stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers, and that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Face the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Face New York. Long COVID 33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.